welcome back in our last class we have already implemented logic gates by using one of the universal gates which is NAND gate in today's class we will implement again all the basic gates by using NOR gate which is another universal gate so let's get started again we will start with NOT gate followed by all other gates so here this is the symbol of two input NOR gate and as we know in case of NOT gate number of input is one so here we will use only one input and that's why we have shorted both the inputs so if the input is taken as this boolean variable a and since both the inputs are sorted that means both the inputs will be a so what will be the output since two input NOR gate so it will be a or a and then NOT so or followed by NOT gives us NOR so here a or a so when we perform or operation between two same inputs as per boolean algebra that will be nothing but that input only so a and since we have this complement so it will be a complement which is the not operation next we will implement or gate by using two input nor gate and this is our logical circuit so in the first to input NOR gate the inputs we will be taking as A and B and since finally also we will be implementing two input OR gate so they are also the in the output we will have two boolean variables and that we have already taken in the first stage A and B so here NOR operation so it will be A or B and then complement now what we will do is we will short both the inputs for the second NOR gate so here a plus b complement and here the second input will be also a plus b complement and since this is nor operation so output will be a plus b bar this is one input and again a plus b bar this is another input and then we will have or operation followed by not operation and now in this expression in this output since both the inputs are same so what will happen it will be nothing but a plus b bar the one of them will remain so the other one will be dissolved and then we have this second complement or whole complement so that we need to consider so what we can see here we have double complements in the output expression and they will cancel each other so what will remain finally in the output is a plus b which is the output of two input or gate so this is how we implement two input or gate by using two input nor gate next we will implement two input and gate by using two input nor gates and to do that we need three nor gates so what we will do is in the first stage or for the first nor gate we will short both the inputs and if we use boolean variable a here so it will be a here it will be again a here so output of the first nor gate will be a or a and then complement so it will be what it will be a complement only that we know already and for the second nor gate also what we will do we will again short both the inputs and this time we will be taking the second boolean variable or second input which is b so here also it will be b and here it is b and output of this second nor gate will be b or b and then not operation so it will be what it will be b complement and then we are performing again nor operation between a complement and b complement so what will be the output it will be a complement itself will be one input of this third nor gate and b complement is the second input and then what we are doing we are performing or operation followed by not operation so as per d morgan's law a bar plus b bar it will be a b bar or a b complement and then we already have this second complement so we'll have this double complements and again they will cancel each other so what will remain is a and b so this is the output of two input and gate next we will implement nand gate by using nor gate and since we have already implemented and gate so and gate followed by one not gate will give us nand gate so this will be the logical diagram so here what we will do this all we already know we will short the both the inputs of the first nor gate so if this is a 
then this will be a complement again we will sort both the inputs of the second nor gate so if the second input is b then the output of this nor gate is b complement so what will be this output we have already seen that that this will be and so a and b and what we are doing here we are we are performing nor operation between two same inputs which is a b so what will be the output then of this fourth nor gate it will be a b which itself is one input and then another input which is same and that is a b then we are performing or and then followed by nor so what will be our output it will be a b or um, plus a b so that will be a b only and then a b complement so it is what it is nand operation next we will implement x nor gate first by using nor gate and then we will implement xor gate so let's proceed so here both the inputs we will be using at the first stage which are a and b so the output of the first nor gate will be a plus b bar and here for the second nor gate here one of the inputs is a and the second input is a nor b and for the third nor gate one of the inputs will be b and here the again second input will be a nor b and now what will be the output here it will be a and the second input itself is nor between a and b and then we are performing nor so or and followed by nor here also one input is b and the second input here is a plus b or the nor between a and b and then we are performing or and then followed by nor and whatever is will be the simplified output of both these gates if we use these two outputs as inputs of the fourth nor gate then we will be getting the output of two input x nor gate which is a b plus a bar b bar and this is the output of two input x nor gate and x nor means xor followed by not so xor we know that is a b bar plus a bar b that we have seen in our last class also or in the class of logic gates so this is the output of two input xor gate so followed by not gives us two input x nor gate so that means these two are same and that we can easily prove now we have to see that how we can get the output either this or this by using these two as inputs for this fourth nor gate so let's proceed so here this is our one input that we can see here that's had, that has been written here and this is our second input in the second complement if we represent by another color so that will be easier for us to understand so this much can be rewritten as or re represented as this and then the same logic will be implemented for the second term also so by the same de morgan's law we can write b bar b complement and then and operation and then second term will be a b bar and then double bar or double complement and between them we will perform nor operation so or and then complement of that so now what we will do a plus b and then double complement so both the complements will cancel each other so it will be a complement and then and or between a plus b this is one of the operations and from the second term also it will be b complement and then both the complements will cancel each other so and operation between a plus b and now nor operation between them so or and then followed by not so a complement and a that as per boolean's algebra that will give us zero so what will remain for from the first term is a complement b so a complement b and from the second term b complement a and we have plus here we have or operation so b complement a and the second term is b complement and b so they will cancel each other the result will be zero as per boolean algebra so it will be a complement b plus b complement a and then complement whole complement of that so a complement b plus b complement a 
so this is what this is the output of two input xor gate and then we have this not operation this complement so that means it is the output of two input xnor gate next we will implement two input xor gate by using two input nor gate and this is our logical diagram output of this nor gate will be a or a nor b and then not operation complement of that and here b and then the second input is nor between a and b and then or and then complement of that and when these two are taken as the inputs of another two input nor gate then we have already seen that the output of that nor gate will be x nor so x nor means we have seen that the here the one of the inputs will be it will be a b bar plus b a bar and then complement of that and again the second input since these two are sorted so the second input also will be same a b bar plus b a bar and then complement of that and as per de morgan's law the at the output this will be the nor operation between the same input so it will be a b bar plus b a bar and complement of that this is the this itself is the input so this input plus again the same input and then whole complement so at the output this will remain and then we have this double complement so we'll have this so double complements mean they will cancel each other and finally the output will be a b bar then our operation between b a bar so this is what this is we know this is the output of two input xor gate so this is how we implement two input xor gate by using two input nor gate so i hope this class was interesting and meaningful for you in the next class we will be learning something new till then stay safe and stay healthy thank you